know what, I've got a great history with the Holiday Train. I started with this program in 2008, and I'm very fortunate that I've traveled on almost all the legs of the, the program that we do. So it's a three-week program. We run two trains, one in Canada, one in the U.S., stopping in 150 communities. And I'm very fortunate to have been part of, of that and seen many of the communities that we do these shows for and just what an impact it can have in the communities through which we operate. So I think that one of the really important things about this program over the 18 years that we've been doing this with communities coming together and raising funds and raising food all together we've been able to raise over 12 million dollars and 3.9 million pounds of food and the, the impact that that can have on people in communities if you can just imagine the scope of what that has done to help people I mean that that it touches you it touches you here and, and that's what this is all about like the odds say in their new song love is what you get um, that's what it's all about. We come into the community, we're doing something good for the community and, and the feelings that we get back for being able to be part of that and helping people is, is Canadian Pacific is very, very proud to be a partner with our communities in that way. You know, what happens on the train stays on the train. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great environment for the performers and you know a lot of these performers are really giving a lot of their time, their amazing talent um, who, who could be earning you know hundreds of thousands of dollars in big stadiums and they're choosing to be part of this and go through the community so it's wonderful um, to have the opportunity to, to meet and travel for, for people who are on the train but I think the more important thing about all of this is what it is when we get into the communities and the reactions and the responses that we have from the crowds. We have some amazing support from the local food banks, we have people who get right into it and they have bonfires and they bring out buses and fire departments and lots of volunteers who get involved and they set up these these great spaces for their communities. The program is community driven so as a company we say hey guys this is when we're coming we're showing up with our train we're bringing the talent here are the tools you need to put the program together and seeing how communities take and grow that themselves um, and create their own event really is is a pretty cool pretty cool thing to, to be part of. You know, when I got the invite uh, to do this uh, CP holiday train, I did my research and saw what it was all about and, and who was helping uh, throughout the country, so I, I signed up immediately. I think it's, it's really great to, to be able to tour the country this way, a different way than I've ever have in the past, and, and to be helping out the food banks all on the way. It's just uh, it's an amazing experience so far. What I'm surprised was just the actual turnouts to these shows. It's um, it's the support in all these communities is, is huge. It wouldn't happen without everybody showing up here. So I'm really surprised by the amount of, amount of uh, support this, this cause has. It's great. Oh, we have all kinds of people who give time for this, this Cross Canada tour. I mean, first of all, there are the people in each of the communities with each of the food banks and uh, local EMS services and local um, politicians and mayor's offices that put things together but then of course we've got employees and communities all the way across um, across the country as well who give of their time we've got people who travel and work on the train supporting the program people like myself who are very very fortunate to be part of it in the way that we are um, but we also have uh, groups across the country employee groups who will get together and they'll raise money and they'll raise food as well for the program and donate it in the individual community so as well as corporate contributions we also have employee contributions at some of our stops along the way. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of a lot of work to get this uh, to get this moving. I just got the easy job. I just get up there and sing some songs. But that, you know, them putting together the infrastructure and making this happen is a lot of work. So they're doing a great job. And this is one of the ways that we get to gauge our employees right across our network. So although we're headquartered now in Calgary, um, we have local employees who'll be involved out of Montreal, out of Smith's Falls, out of Toronto, and so we engage different groups of employees all the way ac across. Um, it's something that is a real feel-good opportunity for our employees to be part of and give back to the communities in their local area. Um, and then, of course, we have employees that, that will be a part of the program right across the country as well, building and developing the program, working the relationships on the phone 
phone to the food banks, on the phone to the communities, talking about what it is that, that we're doing and, and um, really driving the momentum and driving the feel good program that this is. It does so much good for the communities. It's all about neighbors helping neighbors, raising money in the community that stays in the community. And I think that's one of the really important messages that we want to get out is although we go across the country and we do this program, that what we raise in each town stays in that town. So when people come out to the shows, they donate food, they donate money, it goes right to people right there in that community. And, and that's where the help is, is needed for all the people. That's where the value is, is, is I'm helping, you know, the guy down the street that I I don't even know who has three kids at home and, and doesn't earn enough to be able to feed them and depends on the food bank to keep everybody safe and healthy. So um, that's, that's where the feel-good stories come in.